Um, that kind of media and tech literacy is still lacking. I think both on both ends, both in the older generation and in the, a lot of the younger generation who have experienced media in the same, in a similar way to the ways that someone who buys a car now and pops the hood and tries to fix their vehicle would experience it in the seventies and the eighties when you could climb inside of that sucker and, you know, get a wrench and start going. The, the tools have been sealed off and put into black boxes with very like five buttons on them. Uh, and that in turn has had a sort of lose relationship with the how of our technology and how it works. And so effectively, and what is, you know, science that can't be understood, how is that any different from magic in the, uh, you know, in the first place? But I think it's evolved to this sort of magical feeling that anything that sort of seems to operate on a variety of inputs is, you know, deemed AI. And at that point, it really doesn't matter because they already have all the, the technological power, the companies that run these things and launch them uh, they it almost they're going to do the same thing with it, uh, which is to exploit and to extract, uh, you know, as much value and as money as they can from us.